But essentially overthinking comes when there's a ton of uncertainty involved. When things aren't in your control anymore, that's when overthinking uh, like basically comes to its boiling point. It's very true that the devil helps you uh, continue in this obsessive cycle of overthinking. So I'm gonna give you three tips to help you shake out of this overthinking. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Have you ever got caught up in these loops of thoughts that you think about over and over and over again and they're definitely nothing positive but you're overthinking about something that hasn't even happened right something that hasn't even happened you start making up stuff in your mind about what could have happened potentially and you start overthinking and you start thinking more and more about a situation i'll give you an example recently i got a text message uh to speak uh, for for like at some iftar at some masjid or something for this youth program and they asked me you know how much do I charge which is a very very reasonable thing to ask me and I responded with everything like that and I, I said my rate and everything like that and then I hadn't heard back from them for some time and now the whole time I'm overthinking what did you say oh man you're too expensive oh man don't they probably don't want you anymore oh man they probably think of you that oh you're just this guy who just wants money all the time now oh man bro maybe you should hit him back up maybe Man, whoa, you need to calm down. And you have to remember that some of these ideas and thoughts that cause you to overthink is also the trap from the shaitan. Don't try to exclude him from this conversation. It's very true that the devil helps you uh, continue in this obsessive cycle of overthinking. So I'm going to give you three tips to help you shake out of this overthinking uh, sort of cycle and help you guys out a little bit more. Uh, first, let's understand what are we overthinking about? What, what is overthinking? Just so we have a little more grounding uh, of that overthinking is about a scenario that has to happen like it's on its way it's going to happen it hasn't happened yet but you start thinking about it you start making new meanings of it of what potentially it could be okay now you have a choice you could either think positive things or negative things more than likely you're thinking about something negative right can you also overthink about the past absolutely right but you start overthinking about the past in a way that you start thinking well what if i would have done this well if i didn't do this and this wouldn't have happened but if i could have done this then this would have happened as well too where the messenger saw some has warned us against uh, about the low right the the if like the what if scenarios the what if this were to happen he warned us to stay away away from such scenarios and situations because it only causes you to overthink and think about negative things and there's just no point of it, right? So tell me in the comment section, well, what are some things that you've overthought about, right? Like it could give you some anxiety or something like that, but you're thinking about it over and over again. It could be something related to school, maybe a paper that's due, maybe you haven't gotten something back, but essentially overthinking comes when there's a ton of uncertainty involved. When there's a lot of uncertainty, when things aren't in your control anymore, that's when overthinking of, uh, like basically comes to its boiling point, its top point, okay? Uh, so I'm going to give you three uh, tips to help you stop overthinking, okay? And I'm going to do them in least to greatest importance to me that I feel, okay? So here's the, uh, here's the third tip, right? Um, the, 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 the third tip is to ground yourself in the moment. You have to set, you see, these are, these are thinking loops that you're stuck in, stuck in, stuck in, thinking, thinking, thinking. You ever saw that? Like you take a trip, you just day, basically days out. And you start thinking about stuff. That's the overthinking trip I'm talking about over there, right? It's nothing positive. It's all negative. You need that. It's not, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ground yourself in the moment. Like, no, that hasn't happened. That's not happening. What has happened in the past doesn't matter because Allah, it was predained by Allah. What is going to happen in the future, I don't know. That's ilmul ghaib. Only Allah knows about that. All I can do is focus in this moment about what's happening. <sighs> Take some deep breaths. Understand that, look, none of those scenarios in your head have actually happened out. So you could use a next tool that can help you out with that scenario to help you with the overthinking, which is dua. You see, dua has the ability to change anything that you have. Any issues, any problems that you're having, dua has the ability to change that. So instead of overthinking about something, ground yourself in the moment and then make dua about the entire situation. 
the entire situation, okay? Make dua asking Allah that Allah acknowledge your weaknesses. Allah, I know I'm not strong. Allah, I'm worried about this. Allah, you know I'm worried about this. Ya Allah, you are all, you you know, you're al latif You're fully aware of what I'm worried about, Allah. So please, 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 Allah, I'm asking you, calm me down, Ya Allah, and make it easy for me. Make my future easy for me, Allah. So that's going to help you stop overthinking, okay? So those are the two things. And let me give you the final thing that I think is the most important, right? And to help you ground you, to make the dua process and to calm you down. And that is your adhkar, your dhikr, right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has instructed us, He's taught us to keep your tongue moist with the remembrance of Allah. In Surah Kaf, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about how stay with those people who remind you of Allah. They remind you of the hereafter, right? You don't want to stick with the people who remind you of the dunya. That's what causes a person to really start overthinking a lot. So my advice to you out there, is keep your tongue and mind moist with the remembrance of Allah. Instead of your mind going all these places, all these trips and all that sort of stuff, instead of thinking of it like that, have more control over your thoughts and mind by consciously making adhkar, sending salawat on the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Did you know that the more salawat you send on the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the better you'll feel, the more sins of yours will be erased, and on top of that, you will remove all your, your perishani, all your, worry of, uh, your worries will be lost they'll be gone right this is an authentic narration so use these things to your advantage so instead of your mind and your brain just run letting run off like a freight train no instead tame it a little bit more by grounding yourself where you are in the moment then making dua for a better future to come and then reading your adhkar so that you know that everything is okay i'm in the moment i'm reading my adhkar that's what matters the most a fourth bonus tip that can help you out is your salah. But the problem with the salah is SQ, oh, but I, I, I keep overthinking in my salah. I can't, I keep overthinking so I can't even pray salah. Or rather in my salah, you know, I ask you, I have no concentration. That's a separate video. How you can get more concentration in your salah. I'll talk about that separately. But for now, this was the video, guys. I hope you benefited and enjoyed uh, this video as well, too. And I hope that it's it's going to help you uh, stop overthinking, right? Or think, like, it's not that you can stop the overthinking. It's just the controlling the overthinking. I hope that this video serves as a purpose to help you all out. Tell me some things or scenarios or situations that you overthink in the comment section below. I love you all. Excuse me. love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time. I'm out.